right, we are here in the Hasbro booth with the Marvel team at Comic-Con. We have Dwight and Dan. What's up, guys? This is... <laughs> yo, 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 yo. We're a day gotcha. after all your reveals, which is delightful. Tell me, do you guys have a favorite in what you've announced so far at the con? Go first, sir. Uh, my two favorites are Power Princess, because she's stunning, and uh, Chris Star, because Jesse made me do it. <laughs> My two favorites are uh, Daredevil, because I really love that Chip Zdarsky run, and uh, yeah, the Spider-Man animated series, the VHS 2-pack, Peter Parker, Alistair Smythe, uh, I love that 2-pack, so yeah. That is, that is a very Toy Biz-esque 2-pack, yep, which is very, nice, very to, true, very true. nice to see. Can you talk a little bit about how Chris Dar came to be? You, you mentioned a little bit in the panel, just uh, figuring yeah. out that you guys actually own that. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's... You know, Marvel has so many branches. You know, um, there's a lot of things we know about and we think about, and then there's things that, oh, hello there, Mr. Crystal Man. Oh, look at that. Oh. Um, you know, and there's just so many of these things that we, uh, you know, thank you. Um, you know, we're always trying to figure out where else can we go? Because we've done, we've done so much of the mainstays, but there's so many dark corners yet to be explored. Uh, and it's just one of those things that kind of popped up on the radar uh, where it got into Jesse's head and he was like, hey guys, what about this little piece? Because we've talked about this, we've talked about other things like Brom and other bits that, you know, are, have been part of the Marvel pantheon from the right. past. The and Marvel created Micronauts, maybe? Exactly. But yeah, Micronauts another another great example. And we were just kind of looking at it and you're like, you know what, I mean, it's a deep cut, but regardless whether you actually remember the comics or the old lines, it's an awesome looking toy. And it's just gonna make a really killer figure for your collection. And there's just something about just cool that's just cool, you know, and that's kind of what uh, where Chris Star calling to been to play. And if you like the properties that you just mentioned, you know, I would really hope that you guys really support this figure because that would uh, really help us out. Well, I know you. I know you guys are super busy running the booth and everything. But have you seen some of the feedback? Just how excited people are about it? Yeah, I'm usually the one always on uh, all the forums and uh, social media and everything like that. And a lot of people, word of mouth, do just come up to us to talk about it. So the yes, feedback, Chris Star. yeah, just Thank like you. that, just like that. So uh, the feedback has been. Uh, Pretty outstanding, I would say. Yeah, you know? the, 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 the yays have it, apparently. <laughs> and uh, honestly, like, even for me, like, I was not familiar with this character, if I'm being honest with you. And even in the forums that I'm seeing, some people are saying, who, who is that? But then they see the figure, and like I'm telling you, it looks amazing. It, it's a great toy. Okay. Even if you don't know the character, a translucent guy with a big sword, that's cool. Absolutely. So. Uh, let's just talk about some of the other reveals that you had. You had some of the Marvel Knights. I think yep. that's that's a that's an exciting wave. Talk about the the build a figure in that wave because you have the uh, couple of things you can swap out on it. Absolutely, yeah. The mindless one is our build a figure, uh, which happens to be a troop builder, and he has alternate hands uh, and an alternate blast effect that you can just clip onto his eye slot or remove. So you can either have him standing there just with that creepy, uh, you know, dead red eye looking at you, or you can have it as if it just blasted the heck out of something with like the uh, smoke trails trailing off into the distance. So at this point, you guys have done so many characters. Do you guys still have like personal lists that you're trying to make your way through? Oh, yes. oh look at his face. Yes, yes. <laughs> He's got a list. Yeah, there's, a, there's so many characters that I, I still personally would love to see in action figure form. And, and I'm sure, you know, there's a group of people of us that uh, have the opportunity to put our names in for like characters that we like. And that, that list is continuously growing. So I don't think it's going to really ever come to a close, I would say, you know? Phantom Rider. Okay. Oh, he's putting it out there. I didn't know. <laughs> put it out there. Okay. Gossamer. Okay, yeah, yeah. Dr. Bomb. Savage Land Rogue. Outlaw. There's a there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of things that I wanna still make and hopefully someday we'll get a chance to touch some of them. Alright. Yeah. We maybe some more Morlocks at some point. Yeah, we got some Morlocks. Morlocks. More of the Hellfire Club. Morlocks, like Marauders, you know, yeah. we get, we got some uh, we need Harpoon and a handful of other uh, you know, uh, weirdos out there. So yeah. yeah. Maybe so uh, ever talk about a brood X Men? 
or just the brood or the brood themselves yeah we got a brood queen a long long time ago right so long time ago. i think uh, actually uh brood has been brought up already a couple times this weekend so it's uh it'd be good to revisit that now that we got a little bit of scrawl action in the case behind us right you right. know uh, time to go off into some other stuff and uh we got some of the uh star jammers right so maybe there's more uh star jammers and she are uh, yet to come. Yeah, uh, and, and, and for the MCU fans out there too, there are a bunch of MCU uh, characters that we'd love to go back to as well. I mean, we teased out some Infinity Saga characters such as Bruce Banner, uh, Black Widow, and Iron Man. So we don't want to just say comic stuff. We want to also give love to the MCU fans out there that uh, they're on our list as well. Yeah. yeah. How do you guys kind of balance that sort of thing as you as you make out your waves and things between MCU and? He and said it publisher. best. We have uh, nerf battles at the <laughs> office where we uh, try to see who can matrix it out at the best, and uh, you know that's how we put our lists up now. He uses the guns. I'm more of a bludgeoning weapon kind of guy, so I just kind of chase people around with swords and axes. All right, fair enough. The meetings are intense. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I think I, I think as fans we do appreciate. How, I, you know, there's a lot of entertainment coming at us yes you know there's a lot of movies yep. there's a lot of stuff on disney plus yep. so anytime you guys do get to go back and revisit some of the things uh you know i think like uh agatha is a great example like being yep. able to go back i think we all appreciate still being able to fill out some of our shelves with with those other characters that you know maybe you didn't know at the time we're going to stand out yeah no that, that's that's that, that last part you said is very important it's like you know we go into working on these mcu waves with a preconceived kind of notion of what we think is going to be the core things. <laughs> but the way, you know, Marvel writes and the way the actors bring that something special to the character, you don't always know what's going to catch fire. And uh, that's one of the uh, magic points of Legends and the success and longevity of it is that, you know, we're always going to try to hit what we think are going to be the big notes. but. Those uh, softer notes that fall, you know, it, that's the that's that beautiful melody, right? You need it all, and when you uh, get a chance to go back and look at it, there's we actually were working on a document that has uh, yeah. what three or four dozen MCU characters that we haven't done yet, and we're just kind of making this checklist now so that we don't forget, because as the MCU gets deeper and deeper, it's like it's it's easier for uh, old brains to kind of like that was that was that was that movie so yeah exactly so we're uh, we're trying to keep a, a more better uh, record so that we can make sure that things don't get forgotten or lost to time so that when the opportunity strikes we're ready to jump on them and, and it's really on the fans too because uh, you know we scour and we keep our ears to the streets to know what is resonating with the fans you know what I mean so if there's a character that pops you know we recognize it and we just ask for patience, right? Developing an action figure takes some time. So uh, if you've uh, mentioned it online, I'm, I'm pretty sure we've seen it. So you just have to be a little patient about it too, you know? All right. Can you talk a little bit about X-Men, uh, is it 97? Yeah. That's yeah, coming right out. There, that, yeah. That's something kind of exciting. I know you you were always a fan of the original animated series. So yeah. I get to revisit that. Yeah, no, no, no. I mean, uh, we actually got to see some early clips. I think uh, there was a panel that showed six minutes of like uh, the show, and uh, I was geeking out. Like, I almost came to tears because uh, that show, I know, was the gateway for a lot of people to get into X-Men comics and become X-Men fans. And uh, I can't wait to see uh, the next generation, you know, see this show and become X-Men fans too. And hopefully, fans of the, you know, X-Men 97 line as well. We've, we're missing some key characters there too, so I think uh, there's a lot of opportunities for maybe another wave, maybe, you know what I mean? I think we got another wave maybe, in this. Maybe. Yeah. All right, to wrap up, I'm gonna tell you my most selfish. There you go, here deep, it is. Deep cut. Plant the seed. Okay. That I would like to see in Marvel Legends. Is it deeper than Gossamer? Yes. Oh, okay, Whoa. all right. Whoa. Alien Legion. Alien it was an Legion. epic series that Marvel did about all these aliens in armor. Okay. Back in the 80s. Check it out. I will have to. That is that you just uh, <laughs> opened a new door in my brain of something that's yet to be uh, that's filled. That's so. the first one. All right. I think they. I think it ran almost 30 issues, and there was a graphic novel okay. of it, too. All right. So, uh, we'll give it a look, Daniel. Thank right. you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, as always, guys, you know, I've been a Marvel Legends fan since the beginning. It's what got me into reporting on toys. 
the very first wave of uh, Jesse let me show the Iron Man turnaround of Wave oh, One. Nice. That's what that's what, how I made my that's, name that's where it began. in toy reporting. So Marvel Legends has always been near and dear to my heart, and I appreciate the work you guys keep putting into it, uh, the love and care and attention, and just keep up the good work. Thank you so and much. I hope we have a good rest of your show. As always, thank you for talking with us, and we'll have lots more toy coverage here on Action Figure Insider. Peace out, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you.